drip. She in my wrist. That's a freezer. Give me a sis. Give me teamwork. Keep it consistent. For the distance. I can teach you how to get paid, how to get by, and how to get fly. I can teach you how to get the punter now pat mcafee to get this one started and here we go we're underway in madden ultimate team from a yard or two deep here comes a return and he'll be brought down shy at a 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one to the air as Willis. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. A first carry for Rashad White. Taking it right down Broadway. He's on his way. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. And even 70 yards. So he nearly took it the distance, gets him down inside the 10 for a first and goal. I'd love to be in his head right now because is he rewarding himself for a great run or is he kicking himself because he didn't get all the way to the goal line? And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Malik Willis. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Browns need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Carlson's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was Malik Willis who took it in himself to cap things off. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. On first down, Hal. He's got a man complete. And finally taken down at the 34. It's a big play there for Miami. 41 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw. Howell. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The end result was brute force on brute force. But think about everything that's going on if you're playing defensive tackle. You're dealing with at least one blocker across from you, trying to deal with him, shed him, and maybe even a second one before you have to try and make the tackle on the big guy. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. And Howe will throw it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. 
Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of... Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it, and it's caught in the end zone. So it goes for two points on the fake and gives him a lead. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Taken at the goal line. Now Willis on first and ten. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. A tight one. 8 7 our score after one on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football. Meanwhile, Willis throw complete there to Moore. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Willis from the gun on third down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Willis looking to throw it. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Derek Hall in there that time to get him to the turf. Gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds his way back to him. A tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a... And that's caught inside the 30! And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Puka Nakua, 69 yards. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. Al throwing for it. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team, because hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. And yeah, he'll be brought down.
shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Browns drive about to get started. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And nowhere to run for Willis. He goes down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. To throw, here's Willis. Under pressure, and they got to him again. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Apologies to Coach. Cut him short. We'll talk to him post-game. We got business to get down to. Third quarter action, ready to go. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter. And Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead. And they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game. So probably a fight for it. This is caught. It's caught indeed. It's a big play there for Miami. 53 yards. Boy, this has just been an offensive clinic. It's seemingly been one big play after another after another. And have this one on to the list. When you can bite off more than half the field on one play, <laughs> things are definitely working in your favor. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now how? Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Browns are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Willis will look to throw it. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. First and ten, it's Willis. Short throw complete to Gronkowski. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Off the play fake, here's Willis. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Keeps himself upright. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. Play action. Here's Willis. Rolling to his right. Willis takes a hit and the ball is free. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And now the rookie's free. Down the left sideline. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker. 
most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Stevenson now on first and ten. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. And this will be incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 13-yard line. Running out of the... And oh, he coughed it up! And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now... No chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, it's Gurley again. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he'll have the Dolphins first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll try and choose some clock with Gurley. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's third and three. carry now for Gurley and he is going to have a Miami first down and the Dolphins are going to win the football game give him three yards and a fresh set of downs all runs on this drive so far it's first and ten now a give running left for Gurley and he is going to lose yardage here a full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. A 
Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation... And look at this. It's a fake. And this is caught. And he will be taken down. No timeouts remaining defensively. And that should just about do it. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. And I don't know what the method is to know when to dial up a fake punt, when not to, whatever the method there, it worked for them. I think you actually did explain it. There is no method. It's just a feel, a sense, and a healthy dose of guts in order to call that play in that situation. Element of surprise, I guess, right? Yeah, element of surprise and just a strong belief that, hey, we're going to get it done. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, Ball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing right I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on what a great convincing performance so that'll do it for Charles Davis the rest of our crew I'm Brandon Gauden this has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports for more log on to easports.com Good night, everybody.